Hey guys, out here working on uh, my 2003 and uh, the starter had quit working. So I wanted to uh, tear the starter off and give it a good look over, to see if there was anything obvious wrong with it. Uh, what I did was I took the solenoid apart, cleaned everything up. You got some contacts in there, the main contacts. <clears throat> and uh, the, the plunger, whenever you uh, hit your starter button, it basically energizes that, makes a plunger come down for your contact, for your motor. And um, anyway, all I did was I basically cleaned that stuff up and uh, had connected it and it, it started working just fine. But uh, here's a very, very important note. It's often... Um, You'll, you'll find it a lot on the internet because guys ask the question um, by accident. When you're taking your starter out of the, out of the inner primary and you're, you're pulling it out the right-hand side, this is your uh, starter shaft and, and your jack shaft coupler. This coupler, it's the same size all the way through, uh, splined. But in the middle there, as you can see, uh, there is a snap ring in there. And that snap ring is not in the center. It's, it's more to one side. So there's obviously a, a specific orientation for this, you know, to go in. And this is what it is. Let me explain it to you because it's, you don't want to put the starter in and find out the hard way it's not in correctly because it's kind of a, pain in the butt to do this so anyway so you gotta you know where like i was saying the snap ring's not in the center it's more to the side the short side or you want to call it the snap ring side is going to go towards your jack your jack shaft so the longer the longer splined area is going to get set onto your starter shaft very important and if you do it wrong which I did because I didn't pay that much attention to it. I'm going to show you a picture. I had it all back together and I noticed that this was, this ends up protruding out and it won't recess like it should. This should go all the way in like that. And it wouldn't do that because the shaft is basically holding it out. So just a little heads up whenever you're replacing your starter or doing any starter work and you pull it out, this will often fall out or or if you you know if you end up pulling it out because it came out with the starter and then you take it off the starter the thing to remember is the long end of splines is going to go on the starter shaft and the short end or call it the snap ring end is going to go to the back side of this jack shaft hope that helps you from uh, doing it wrong. Talk to you later.